Move on down to item two, approval agenda, please. So moved. Second. Tyler? Yes. Edwards? Yes. Augustine? Yes. Kirkshank? Yes. White? Yes. Kowalski? Yes. Novak? Yes. Kowalski? Yes. 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 Item three, review and approve the minutes. That's mailed. Second. Edwards? Yes. Augustine? Yes. Kirkshank? Yes. White? Yes. Kowalski? Yes. Novak? Yes. Alhaski? Yes. Jensen? Yes. Yes. And four. Nancy, you still here? Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're up first, please. Okay. Um, on March 31st um, is the deadline for the Red Leg grant application. And we can apply for this quarterly, um, as you know, but we're going to try to get something submitted by March 31st. There's a lot of details that still need to be worked out. Um, and so I've got some questions here for you. Today you've got a, a copy of the resolution, I believe that was included in your packet, as well as a revolving loan fund plan. Um, but I just need some clarification, first of all. Um, is the total amount that you're going to request $300,000, is that correct? You request three hundred from, from Red Lake, and then you'll put uh, $60,000 as your percentage match towards that. So you'll have $360,000 in your revolving loan fund. Okay. Your maximum loan amount will be three hundred thousand. Is that correct? That's correct. Yeah. Okay. Well, in our resolution, I think I had put in three hundred sixty thousand. I, I changed put, it. You changed it. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So <laughs> checks on top of this here. So, so the maximum loan will be three hundred thousand dollars. Now, in the in the plan, um, we had four percent would be the lowest amount that uh, of interest that you would um, allow, but yet. When I talked to Chuck a few weeks ago, we talked about the first loan that you would grant, if it would be for the courthouse project, would be at 0%. That's required. That's required. Grant this by the uh, rules and regulations of rural development. So the, the first grant for this courthouse project will be at 0%. The first loan will be at first, 0%. The first loan. Mm -hmm. The first loan will be at 0%. And then after that, it will be no less than 4%. Right. Okay. Okay, got that. Um, also, in your plan, um, in the loan, in the loan plan, it says, um, and the sales tax had this initially too, that um, for every twenty, you will loan out twenty-five thousand dollars for every job that that is created. I would like to suggest that you add created or maintained, because uh, we've come up, we've we've come across that a number of times with business transitions, and what happens is if you, if you don't have somebody that buys out the business, those jobs are maintained, but they're going to be lost if they don't have this this loan to help them finance the, the buyout. So I would, I would encourage you to, um, to make that change, just to make that amendment to any place that it says per job creation in your loan plan that you say um, per job created or maintained. And uh, there again, it's a guideline, you know, it's just a guideline. You can change it, you know, at any time after the fact, but just something that we've run across with the sales tax loan I think might be prudent for you to put in your plan as well. That way it won't tie the hands of your loan committee or you as a board. So, do you mind if I, if I make those changes or any discussion or do you, do you care? Any objection to something like that? Okay. Um, and then something that was not addressed, and Chuck, I just emailed you um, a copy of the, policy, the entire policy and procedure that the, sale, the city sales tax loan um, he has. And it's, it's, it's quite a number of pages, but in there it, it identifies how the loan committee is set up. And so once you get this, I would encourage you to then make a determination um, that you would probably, I assume that you'd probably appoint a loan committee and then they would review the, those documents and then report to you, and then you would be the ones that vote on it. Is that kind of your understanding as well? That's what I put in the revolving loan fund plan. Okay. There would be three to seven members on this committee appointed by the board. Okay. The board has authority to change them at any time for any reason. So. Okay, I read that. I mean, I read through the plan, but I missed that. So, okay, good. Um, that, I sent you the one that was in the work in progress. Yes. Then I, you know, tweaked finalized it, tweaked it, okay. finalized it. They have the final one. Oh, so you're already three steps ahead of me. Okay, good. I'm sorry I didn't email that one to you. No, that's that fine. File. That's fine. I was working on other stuff as well. Okay. So those were just some notes that I had had. All right. 
Um, and so you changed the resolution to $300,000? Yes. Rather than 360 That's Okay. Correct. Also in the policy, did you add something about loan default in there? No, there's nothing in there about should that. address that. Or do you at least say what will happen just in case that you have, in case of a default. Just so that you have some guidelines there. So. And then um, I just wanted to let you know about the, the county um, status. They had hired an architect, or they had they thought they had an architect, and through a whole bunch of different things, um, I was supposed to have the plans from the architect to be used to be able to use as their business plan, you know, to help write the business plan. The last meeting, they were supposed to um, approve the contract, and the county attorney had some more questions with the contract. So therefore, I have I don't have anything other than some some old lines. So I'm, I'm basically starting from scratch, but I should have something put together. And the reason I still want to have something is that if we don't apply by March 31st, you, of course you're not going to get the loan, period, because we won't even have to submit an application. I would still like to submit an application, even if it's sketchy, because if we don't, e even if we don't score as many points, if there's not a lot of applicants throughout the nation, you still get it. Um, if we don't apply, we certainly don't get it. So I would like to submit something just with my sketchy business plan. And I talked to Bob Sevenford, he is okay with that. So I just want you to know if that's okay with you, then we'll, we'll continue to proceed. Um, but I, I don't have all the data that I, that I had hoped for their, for their business plan. But we'll, like I said, I'll, I'll throw something together, but it will be sketchy. Um, we're working on an environmental impact. We will not have that completed, but I believe we still will be able to submit the application based on a copy of the letter that we've submitted you know, to all of the different agencies. And so we can just say that this is still pending, but that an environmental impact has been started. So we should be okay. We may not get as many points, but at least we'll be able to have it. And one of the reasons we could not start that is because they needed the drawings. They need the drawings and the budget. And so we didn't have the drawings. So consequently, it just seems like we, we keep coming across several different stumbling blocks. And, but anyway, um, we'd still like to get this submitted by March 31st. However, between now and March 31st, there are like four different forms that need to be signed by Ron. Um, and so, uh, and there's a bunch of other little things that need to be done. I was just wondering if it would be okay for you to um, give Ron um, permission to, or, or a small subcommittee permission to review this and sign off on it, be because all this will have to happen before your next meeting. And you know, ideally, I was hoping to have a complete application here for you so that you could all review it you know, prior to today's meeting, and then you would sign off on it and say, yeah, go ahead and go ahead and apply. But I'm not nearly near to, near to that point. So my question to you is, is it okay if we still go for the March 31st? And if so, would you be okay with a small group or a s two or three people reviewing it and signing off on it? Or do you want to meet again before it's, it's submitted? What, what are your thoughts? That's, I guess, my question. I have it on the agenda to authorize myself, Ron, Andy, and Harry to review that and to sign the forms that need to be signed. So I guess whatever your thoughts are, but that's, it's on the agenda for discussion. Yeah, yeah, I don't see the problem. I think that we need to discuss the, what's here you know, before we move forward with any signing of anything. Because we haven't discussed this yet, so how can we give you authority to move forward when we haven't cashed through the resolution or the revolving loan? I think we're putting our cart before the horse, the revolving loan. That's, that's fine. Do you want me to, to wait until you reach that agenda? Or do you want to let me know afterwards? or? Well, because no, I no, I, I don't I, want to prove no, like I'm not asking for that. I, for I'm sure you're not that. I'm sure we'll discuss this with her, but you know, I think before the meeting's over, either give you or the kind of authority that I would hope it would be to give it to you. Mm -hmm. Well, and either way, I mean, we can wait another three months too. You know, that's that's totally up to you. But I just wanted to let you know this is this was the status. This was my status at this point, and yes. Ellen, you do have those documents in front of you, and it is on your agenda to review those first. So, I don't have any problem with the four guys doing it, but I, I guess it ought to be open for the rest of us to come if we want to. That's right. Just 